While it's given that the western metal lark arrive in North Dakota in early spring and leave in fall, scientists are trying to piece together the unknowns about this bird's migratory ecology. We're putting small GPS satellite tags on those birds. Tags weigh about four grams, and they allow us to track the bird throughout its movements across the entire year. The North Dakota Game and Fish Department, along with the University of North Dakota, Metal Arc Initiative, and the Smithsonian Institute are key partners in studying these songsters with a recognizable call and an unmistakable appearance. It's a state wildlife grant uh, proposal that uh, we funded to look at both the impacts of grassland restorations, how that is changing the occupancy of different grassland birds, but then also part of the study is trapping and tagging meadowlarks to see how they're using the grasslands in North Dakota during migration, where they're wintering. Researchers have a unique method when trapping North Dakota state bird. What we do is we put a lure, a visual lure, so in this case a taxidermy meadowlark, out on a prominent song perch that we know that these target birds are using. And we also put an audio lure, a speaker, where we play a meadowlark song. And Essentially, we convince these birds that there's an intruder in their ter territory that they've got to deal with, and then we set up two mist nets right around that lure. Researchers put GPS backpacks on four metal arcs in 2022, plus another six in 2024. We need to understand where they are throughout the annual cycle so that if North Dakota's got a problem with its metal arcs, you know, it needs to be communicating with states, you know, maybe Kansas, uh, New Mexico, where those birds are spending the winter to make sure that there's effective conservation going on there as well. Metal arcs are a good indicator of grassland habitat quality, and with the loss of grasslands, their populations are declining. It's been declining about 1% per year. We don't have the grassland that we used to, both CRP and Native Prairie. We think we've lost 75% of the grassland in the state. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.